Hi, this is Katie, CEO of Winners Wednesday class. We've got a really simple arm balance today. And we're going to start by leaning into it from our back. So we're just rolling onto our back if we're not already there, allowing that tailbone to extend towards the heels. Just doing a little bit of a wiggle as you come all the way down. So you're softening your spine and then just rocking a little bit with your knees. To you feel your spine and lower back melting with the ground and then just placing your hands on your belly, closing your eyes and breathing. Big inhale, filling up your whole body like a balloon. Lower belly, ribcage, chest, heart, neck, feet, hands, fingers, head, toes, beyond. And gently exhaling. Letting that body and back relax. Good. And then just gently bring both knees into the chest. As you do so, you're going to find your sit bones reach away from you. And gently hold on to your knees. And with that sense of reaching the sit bones away from your shoulders, just gently rock from side to side. Good. And then extend that right heel away, opening up the right side of your body. And just hug that left knee in so it's heading towards your shoulder. If you're more flexible, you can go for your elbow grip. Good. And then just gently extend that left leg and just walk it a little bit. Good. And then just extend it away, reaching that left foot away, taking the back of that knee a bit. And then just here from here, putting the hands a little bit in front of the sit bones. And we're going to push strongly through those hands and then lean forwards, keeping the arms straight. And then gently come back, reaching up, 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 and then pushing through those hands, coming forwards, then coming away from the sit bones, and then coming back, back, back. On the next one, we come forwards, and then we pull back, and we lift the hips back, and then we come forwards, 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 push through those hands strongly. It's the pushing down, the wanting the, or the intention to come up, which is going to lift your hips up. It's um, the sense that, oh, now I decide I'm going to lift my hips. That effort is going to make everything effortless. And there we go, yeah. Cool. And then we just relax back down through the spine. A little train. Tailbone, lower back, hello, hello, back, hello, back, 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 And then just coming down all the way, relaxing. Bringing the hands to the belly. Softening into your body, feeling the evenness. Or any difference, if you feel any difference now, in the way the different sides of the body and the different parts are relating to the ground. Melting here. Smiling here. Mm -hmm. Good. And then just gently bring your both knees into the chest. And again, feel your sit bones reaching away from you as you give yourself a hug and just gently rock from side to side. Loving your connection with the earth. Good, and extending that right foot away, giving your left knee a great hug. Extend, 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 extend. Good. And then lifting that left leg up. And as you do so, feeling the openness and the space between your toes, you can acknowledge that space. And just walk that left leg from side to side. Tuning in to what you can feel. And then taking the back of that knee mid, just send that left leg away and you're going to see it's going to bring your whole body up. That's a bit tricky, work your way from further down. If it's easier, you can work your way further up. You can reach. If it's easy, you can reach. If it's easy, you can go for your big toe hold and just use that to bring you up. If it's too relaxed, right arm, push through the big toe to bring you up. Now we're just about to from side to side. Hands come a little bit further forwards of the hips, reaching forwards. Reaching forwards and then coming up. Reaching forwards, halfway, coming up. Reaching forwards on this one. When we come back, we pull the sit bones back. Good. And just get that sense of bringing the hands a little bit further down the sit bones because it's going to make the next bit a lot easier. So here we're going to bring the left knee up and it's going to be very much like what we did on the floor. We're just going to give it a nice hug. So we're going to lift the leg, walk it a little bit from side to side. Have a sense of reaching through 
to move the body, reach through, move the body, reach through, move the body, bend elbows or straight arms, it doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing, it's just going to move you in that position you're in. If you soften the elbows, just gives you maybe a slight different energetic feel. Cool. And then we bend that knee. What we're going to do is bring the left hand underneath. So it's a little bit, again, it's going back two or three inches in front of your sit bones. And we're going to push that left elbow and left upper arm to the left and we're going to hug in the inner thigh against the arm. So it's like we're being pulled in two directions. So arm goes that way, pushes against the leg, the leg pushes against the arm. The right hand again just mirrors the left in the sense they're both perpendicular to the other. The hands are further forwards than the sit bone, so they're not on sit bone level, again the same as we were doing before. In front we look forwards to lift up, straighten those arms. And gently come down. And then just let it go. And then the other side, just giving that white knee a hug like we did on the floor, lifting the arm. And then taking the foot, or taking some part of that white leg, just opening it up. Walking it from side to side. Very mm -hmm. nice today, it's cool. Very, very easy. Keeping it all really easy. Good. And then the right hand comes underneath. So you're going to push that right tricep against the, the right inner thigh, and the inner thigh is going to push back. So that loving conflict is going to make everything work beautifully. The left hand comes on the left hand side, and we're again a few inches in front of those hips, which makes everything really easy. So you just lean forwards like we were doing before, when we were had both legs straight, and then lift up. Like you want to pull back. And we could hang out here all day, or we could take it a step further and put that leg on top. Squeeze the inner thighs together like I want to squeeze the life out of my right arm. And then we can bend the elbows to come down. We can push through the arms to come back up. And then come back the same way. And then we can just relax here, rocking forwards, bending the knees, softening into our forward fold. So again, the same thing on the other side. Hands come forwards of those hips. Push through the hips. That straight leg can come on top. We squeeze like we want to squeeze the life out of that left arm. We bend to come down. We push back to come back. We unfold. And we gently lower down. And we can just walk in. <laughs> and then we can just relax on our backs. Job well done. <laughs> Melting into the ground, feeling that spine softening. And you can take your knees and gently rock from side to side, again feeling your sit bones reaching away from you. And you can make little circles with your knees in one direction and the other. Just softening everything. So here, just, yeah, just to walk up, you can just take your shins, reach the shins away from you. And it will just walk you up. Let me give you a nice massage as you do that. Making it into a more walking vinyasa. Have a great day. If you ever want any special requests, it's also awesome to hear anything. If you broke a finger, yeah, anything at all, um, you want specially designed Windows Wednesday classes for you because the class is for you, it's made for you, it's designed for you. Feel free and email see at cyoga.co.uk and see you on on Facebook, so feel free to leave a message there as well. Have a super day guys. Bye. Lots of love for an awesome day.